Welcome and welcome back to another coffee break here on my channel Firm Learning. My name is Heinrich and on my channel I want to help you to become successful in the first years of your career. Today's video is quite special. We're going to talk about a topic that I haven't covered a lot yet on this channel. We're going to talk about investment banking. And I invited a special guest to this channel to help me cover this topic. It is Afzal. Afzal is a former Goldman Sachs consultant. He will help you understand what investment banking is all about. We will discuss the key divisions in investment banking and also some tips what you can do to get into a job like Goldman Sachs or other bulge bracket banks as well. Afsal has a YouTube channel called Afsal Hussein. I will link it below in the video description. He makes lots of great videos on investment banking and related topics. I can really recommend you to check it out. But now without further ado, let's jump in. Let's learn what working at investment banks like Goldman Sachs looks like and what you can do to get such a job as well. Hey, thank you for tuning in today. My name is Afzal Hussain and I run a YouTube channel called Afzal Hussain. Heinrich will link it in the video description below. Long story short, I graduated six, seven years ago now. I went to a mid-tier university, Queen Mary in London, and I studied economics and finance. My goal at uni was to do as many spring weeks and internships as possible. Got my internship at Goldman Sachs within their asset management business. I did that for 10 weeks and converted that into a full-time offer after I graduated. I joined Goldman's full-time in their asset management business as a salesperson, and I did that for a few years until I left to pursue entrepreneurship full-time. But I don't want to waste too much time I want to get straight to the value that I can add for you and what I want to do in this video is explain to you a bit about the investment banking division at an investment bank the sales and trading division at an investment bank and asset management and private banking because these are the four or four of the front office divisions at an investment bank so you've got the front office which are revenue generating higher salaries higher bonuses client facing and then you've got the back office things like human resources finance operations so on and so forth why i want to focus on the front office areas for you today is because i get a lot of management consultants a lot of consulting interns graduates etc who reach out to me and ask me how can they break into investment banking or how can they break into asset management and so i'll touch on all of these and then i'll touch on some of the similarities in the skill sets that you guys will have as individuals with a consulting background or experience in in the world of consulting and then I'll touch on some of the differences between consulting and working for an investment bank so that you can kind of focus on the key gaps that you need to fill if you're ever interested in breaking in without any further ado let's get straight into it the investment banking division is basically corporate advisory what individuals do in the investment banking division is help companies raise money whether it's through equity issuing equity or issuing debt they help companies restructure their business so they look at the company's equity to debt ratio and assess if a company can be organized in a better way in order to function more efficiently and increase shareholder value and they help companies merge or take over so corporate advisory in essence focuses on all of these areas when you go into the investment banking division as a junior you are going to be heavily focused on building models financial models and valuation models on Excel and working on presentation skills on Microsoft PowerPoint these are the two tools that you're going to be using for the most part in your first few years in the investment banking division and so naturally you bring a lot of that over from management consulting to investment banking because you do a lot of that in the world of consulting anyways. The hours in the investment banking division are the longest in the industry. You would get in at like 9 a.m. and then you would leave in your first few years midnight 1am 2am it's very very long but as a result you get compensated with large bonuses at the end of the year and so if that's something you're interested in it's something worth looking at i've done quite a few videos on the work-life balance salaries all of that those are on my channel you can check those out in your spare time then we've got the sales and trading division this is the markets aspect or area of the investment bank this is where you see traders on the trading floor glued into the financial markets they are basically creating markets for clients who want to buy or sell financial securities and connecting them with other clients or individuals who want to buy and sell financial securities the traders are on the trading floor there's salespeople on the trading floor there's researchers on the trading floor all of these people are coming up with ideas executing ideas in order to make a small commission off the large sums of money that the clients are trading so if you're interested in getting stuck into the financial markets whether that be as a salesperson or a trader then this might be something that you're interested in typically you would get in really early before the markets open so 6 or 7 a.m and then you would leave at like 5 6 7 p.m and then you've got asset management and private banking these areas basically manage money over a long-term horizon for their clients the key difference 
difference is in private banking or private wealth management, your clients are high net worth individuals, so rich people, celebrities, footballers, etc. And then in asset management, your clients are government organizations, local authorities, insurance companies, pension schemes, sovereign wealth funds, etc. etc. So large corporations versus individuals and family offices. In asset management and private banking, you can be a salesperson where you're managing client relationships, or you can be a product person, an investment professional, getting the money in and investing it into the financial markets. There are a lot of people who come from management consulting that break into asset management or investment banking as salespeople, for example, because they have those qualities that allow them to build client relationships. They have interpersonal skills. They're good communicators. They're good team workers, so on and so forth. Key skills that are very similar, PowerPoint presentation. You use it a lot in consulting. You use it a lot in banking. Why? Because a lot of the work that a bank does or a consulting firm does is pitch to clients on PowerPoint. If you are very good at Microsoft PowerPoint, you will be able to work faster, more efficiently, and just impress your seniors a lot easier. And so that's one key similarity between the two industries. Another one is Excel. I'm not too sure how much you guys use Excel in management consulting. I'm sure you use it quite a bit, but it's heavily used in investment banking division and on the trading floor. And so if you are good on Excel, then that would be a bonus. In both worlds, you go and manage client relationships. You are pitching your ideas and solutions to the clients and you're trying to help them, right? And then in the process, you take a fee for that service. However, if you want to move from management consulting to investment banking specifically, it's important to understand that in investment banking, you need a good understanding of accounting principles. You need to be able to look into the inner workings of a company by reading its financial statements and have an understanding of what it all means. That's what the investment bank does. It takes all of that information, puts it into the Excel models, and then it predicts or estimates the future performance of that company in different scenarios. In management consulting, I'm not sure how much of that you do, but if you're considering breaking into banking, it's always good to have some background knowledge in accounting principles and financial statement analysis. If you wanna make the transition from management consulting to banking, whether it's in asset management, sales and trading, private banking, or the investment banking division, my advice to you, three quick tips. Make sure your cover letter is strong. Make sure your CV is strong. Make sure you network. Talk to people in these industries, whether it's through LinkedIn or simply whatever it is. Make sure you talk to them, network, ask them questions, because you be surprised how much you can learn from connecting with people in the industry. They will help you get further than just trying to make the transition on your own without reaching out to people or connecting with people. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. If you want to find out a bit more about me or watch more of my videos, I do videos on banking, finance, careers, and general productivity lifestyle. So head over to my channel, Heinrich will link it in the video description below. Whatever stage you're at in your career, whether you're not in university yet, whether you're in uni, or if you're a graduate, good luck with your journey. Persistence is key stay inspired stay ambitious and yeah thank you for watching this video thank you so i hope you found this video insightful if you have any questions just feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section and i'm sure that afzal is going to regularly look into your comments and also answer all your questions in addition as you know every comment that you write really helps me with the youtube algorithm so every single comment is much appreciated similar to that if you took any value out of this video at all please hit the like button for the youtube algorithm and also subscribe to this channel to stay up to date on all my content to see even more from me follow me on my instagram my handle is first I'm learning. I also have a mailing list. There's a sign up link to that in the video description below. I now want to say thank you to all the members of Firm Learning. Every member makes a significant contribution to the work, to the cause of this channel. So your support is very much appreciated. And if you are thinking about becoming a member as well, just hit the join button next to the subscribe button to learn what it's all about. And yes, you have access to some member only perks if you join as a member. Thank you to everybody who watched until the end. I release new videos every single Saturday. Day. So looking forward to next week's video and until then enjoy the weekend. Bye bye guys.